All right, let's go for a cruise. We're gonna talk about the difference between getting Zillow mortgage leads and generating your own mortgage leads on Facebook. start with a budget and, and spend maybe fifteen hundred or twenty five hundred dollars a month with Zillow in order to start seeing some results but with Facebook especially if you learn how to do it yourself with Facebook ads you can start getting results with ten dollars or twenty dollars or fifty dollars right um, maybe I'm not saying that you're making money for ten dollars in ad spend but I'm saying that you're gonna start seeing the same kind of results from Zillow putting in fifteen hundred dollars as you can get on Facebook putting in a hundred dollars Right, probably way better results with $100 if you're running your own ads and you know what to do, right? Um, the thing with Zillow is they're a lead aggregator. And what a lot of people don't understand about them is they actually buy leads from people like me and other people that generate leads. You can actually generate your own leads or you can, if you know how to run traffic and generate people that wanna click an ad, you can actually run traffic to things for Zillow or LendingTree or Anybody else, a lot of these big uh, websites, they buy leads from other people. You know, so for me, they'll pay me $15 or $18 a lead, and for to a loan officer, they'll go and, you know, make that loan officer pay $65, $100, $150. I mean, wh what's your price, right? If you've ever ran Zillow, um, if you've ever used Zillow for leads, do me a favor right now and drop a comment down below this video and let me know how much did the leads cost you? If you look at your overall cost per lead, what does that, what does that look like um, whenever you used Zillow, okay? Um, so that's, the, that's number one is the actual budget that you're gonna have to put in, okay? Facebook, if you wanna, if you wanna get a return from Zillow, you're gonna have to spend money. The, the people that talk about that Zillow doesn't work or this kind of thing, it just means that they didn't spend enough money, right? Um, it's, it, you have to get enough at-bats in order to re really say, does this thing work or does this not work? And if you only generate five or 10 leads, there's no way you can say whether or not a service works. You've gotta really put in and go full speed into something for 60 or 90 days and then decide if it works or not, right? You can't decide off of one campaign or one little ad spend. And a lot of times I see people that spent 250 bucks on Zillow and then they say it doesn't work. Well. Yeah, I mean, for $250, you probably got like three leads or something, you know? So if you're running your own Facebook ads, that's, that's number one is the, the budget. In order to get a return from Zillow, you're probably, again, gonna have to spend $1,500, $2,000, $2,500 a month. But with Facebook, you can get those same results for a few hundred dollars, right? Maybe $200, $300, $500 a month you could get the same kind of results that you can get. So maybe you're talking about spending a third, a quarter, a fifth less um, doing it on Facebook. So that's really number one difference between Facebook ads and, and you know getting leads, mortgage, mortgage leads on Facebook and getting mortgage leads on Zillow is that the amount of money you're gonna have to put in up front in order to see a return is gonna be a lot different and at least three to four times higher with Zillow, maybe more depending on which kind of campaigns you run on Facebook. The next thing that's different about Facebook ads versus Zillow ads is your actual cost per application. Um, cost per lead and some of these kind of things, they're really vanity metrics, right? They don't actually matter that much. The thing that actually matters is what is it costing you to get an application? What's it costing you to get a pre-approval, right? Um, what is it costing you to actually get a client to the closing table? Those, those are the things that matter way more than using um, you know, vanity metrics like what is a lead cost or um, what's the what's the amount of money you're putting in um, on a monthly basis? Like I said, those things matter, <coughs> but what really matters is what does it cost to get an application? So let's talk about that. Got this new juice, trying it out. Turns out it's not actually juice. It has a bunch of like other stuff, and it's not really that good for you. I thought I was just getting carrot orange juice. Puerto Rico, you got to be careful of the labels. Um, okay, on Zillow. Because of the amount that the, the leads cost, it's gonna cost a lot of money to get an application, right? Um, 
if you just look at an average of you know 65 to 100 dollars is what i hear that most of the leads are costing on zillow so if we did an average of those two things what's that maybe going to be around 80 bucks something like that okay so let's just imagine that zillow converts at a 10 percent rate that would be incredible if Zillow converted at 10%, I don't know what Zillow actually converts at, so let me know, right, in the comments. If you've used Zillow, what did it, what was your conversion rate? So I'm gonna use 10% because I think that's really high and, and I'm being super generous to Zillow, okay? So if leads cost $80 on Zillow and you're converting at 10%, that means that an application or, you know, getting a pre-approval is gonna cost you $800. Right? I mean, let me know if my math is off there, but I'm pretty sure that's $800 for a pre-approval. Do you know like with Facebook ads, depending on what type of ad you're running, if you run the training wheels campaign or we call it the realtor getter where it's like the super simple campaign that's um, anybody can start it in, in a day and have leads coming in the same day for about a dollar to $2 a piece. That training wheels campaign, if you got $2 leads, that $800 will generate you 400 leads, right? Even if we looked at a horrendous conversion rate of 1%, right? Let's just say the, the leads only converted at 1%, which would be just on an industry standard really low, right? Um, so if they converted at 1%, that would mean that you would convert four pre-approvals for the same $800, right? Um, converting four, obviously converting four is always gonna be better than converting one, you know what I mean? So if you look at like just in terms of the cost per application that's one thing that's going to be way different right is for the same cost where it's going to be one application on zillow you can probably get four applications or maybe more on facebook ads because even we're talking about using the lowest converting numbers and everything right so um that's the next difference is is number two is what is the cost per application what's the cost per pre-approval and how with Zillow, you can at least three to four times get better results on Facebook than, than what you can typically get with a, with a Zillow contract. All right, the last thing that I wanted to mention that's different about Zillow ads versus Facebook ads is that if you spend $1,500 on Zillow, and let's just use the $80 um, per lead, right? That's gonna give you what, maybe around 20 leads, you know, even if it's a little less than $80. So at most, if you're spending it with Zillow, and again, somebody correct me in the comments if these numbers are incorrect. This is what I've been told from loan officers that we talk to every single day that are talking to us about joining the Legion of Loan Officers. And they tell us that Zillow leads cost 65 to to $100 a piece. And um, so if you're spending $1,500 with Zillow, you're going to get around roughly, let's just call it 20 leads. And if you spent that same $1,500 on Facebook ads, the thing is that if you just wanted to be able to convert, like with Zillow with that same 1500, maybe you're gonna convert two people, right? So if your goal with Facebook is like, okay, I wanna convert two people, well, you could easily spend that 1500 and go get like, spend 500 on Facebook ads or 600 on Facebook ads or something, right? Generate yourself 500 leads, 300, 400, 500 leads, maybe more, just depending on which type of ads you're running. And then you can spend the other money and actually hire an ISA. Right? and you can hire somebody to make the phone calls for you and actually convert the leads either, you know, depending if they're licensed, they could actually take the applications or if they're unlicensed, then they could, um, if they're unlicensed, then, then they can just set the appointments for you, right? So either way, it's, you know, you can, if there's like some piece of the business where it, it becomes a bottleneck for you, right? I mean, generating 20 leads a day, that becomes a bottleneck for one person. And that's why at some point, if you're generating that many leads, you should look at hiring an inside sales agent because they're gonna help make your numbers better. They're gonna help increase your conversions, get you more face-to-face -face appointments or phone appointments or you know whatever it is that you're looking for. And again, if you get somebody eventually that's uh, licensed as an ISA, they can not only set appointments for you, but they could also go straight into an application if somebody's ready right then on the phone. So it's pretty cool. Um, so the, that's the biggest thing, right, is number three, what my real point was, number three is that um, you can build a huge database with Facebook ads, whereas on Zillow, you're just paying them for a few leads a month on Facebook for that same amount of ad spend or that same kind of input, you know, 
dashboard, that same 1,500, you can go and add 500 people to your database every month, and that's super huge, you know, because we're going to pull out the people that are right now ready to go, but then there's always going to be other people that, um, there's always going to be other people that eventually want to want to get a house as well, you know, um, you're going to get a lot of people on Facebook ads that are kind of top of the phone folks, right, and so that's the other biggest difference is, one is, what do you have to put in to get results? Facebook, you only have to put in maybe $300, $500 to see the same kind of results that you can see from Zillow for $1,500 to $2,500. Number two is, what's the actual cost to, to get an application, right, or to get a pre-approval? Because at the end of the day, that's, that's really what matters, you know? And then the third thing is, um, the fact that you can build a huge database. What's up, guys? Um, and, and, and obviously that's awesome, right? The fact that instead of just getting 15 or 20 people a month in your database, now you're talking about getting 400, 500, just depending on what your ad spend is, right? We've got people in the Legion that are adding 1,000 people a month into their database, um, and so it's super possible for you as well. So that's some of the differences between Zillow mortgage leads and Facebook mortgage leads. Hope that makes sense. If you have any questions about that, drop them down in the comments. I'll always make sure to reply back to your comment. And if you want to know more about what we're doing in the Legion, check out legionaloanofficers.com. Hope you have an awesome day. Oh, do me a favor. Drop me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button so that you can get alerted whenever I add new videos. A new content is coming every Tuesday and Friday. So uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. See ya. My goal and intention at this moment is to do two videos per week. I hope you're having an awesome day. See you next time.